Well, it's Pulse Motor Build-Off time. Um, as you may all know, I won't be hosting the show with Russ this year. A little too busy at work, too many hours, and not enough time. Um, I might even enter. Let's see what happens. See if I get some time to do so. Just having a look at a little something here, and uh, may help some people in the Pulse Motor Build-Off. Um, we're looking at the most effective way and efficient way to uh, create a pull force on a magnet. Um, the same would apply in repulsion mode, a pushing force. So I have two coils here, they're just out of a uh, primary side of a transformer similar to this one. And of course I have a 50 by 19 by 2 mil magnet in the guts which is pivoting on this video head which is of course onto our scales so um, the way this is set up is I'm going to have the power in on the blue and the twin white lead that powers up only one coil and when I shift the uh, positive side across to the yellow lead then hooks these coils in series but firing the opposite pole so one coil may be firing a north pulling on this south side of the magnet and the other coil will be firing a south field pulling on the north side so we want to see if it's more efficient uh, using one coil uh, pulling on one side of the magnet or using two coils pulling on both sides of the magnet now there is some um, talk at the moment on another thread at overunity.com that the two fields being produced by each coil would cancel each other out and there would not be as much pull on the magnet. So we're about to find out. What's your guess? Well, what we're going to do is start with one coil. Uh, we'll be running 30 volts and that is our amp meter. DC so we'll be extremely accurate. Here we have our scales which I will turn on. The scales are set on kilograms so we have three decimal points measuring one gram per decimal point. Okay or should I say it'll measure down to one gram pull force. So uh, one coil first, we're going to switch our power supply on, so 30 volts, 163 milliamps and we are getting 60 grams of pull force down on those scales. So we'll turn our power supply off, we are now going to use both coils hooked in series. So, so we're going through the yellow, through one coil out of that, through the next coil, and back out to the blue. Still 30 volts. Switch it on. We now have 70 grams of pull force in that setup. And of course we are only using half the amount of current, which means half the amount of power. So 70, 30 volts. 81 milliamps and if we swap it over oh, around now 60 30 volts at 159 58 milliamps and they will slowly go down as the coil heats up of course when it heats up the resistance increases and as you can see once again, back to the two coils in series, 70 grams of pull force, 80 milliamps, 30 volts. One single coil, and the scales have just switched off, so we'll turn that back on. And 
Okay, one single coil, 30 volts, 156 milliamps for 60 grams of pull force. Both coils in series, 30 volts, 80 milliamps, 70 grams pull force. So that answers your question. Not only do you slightly increase the pull force by using two coils, one each side of the magnet, you have your power input. So, or something consider in uh, making your pulse motor. Uh, you're going to go for efficiency. Not only efficiency, but a little more power as well. So, um, over a 100% gain by using two coils instead of the one acting upon the magnet. Thanks guys.